Hello my dear student, I am Ravinder Singh, your mathematics mentor. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Sanvi Mathematics Classes. Today, in this video, we are going to start with the chapter number 1 of class 8. Okay, that is what the rational number. So, we are starting with the chapter number 1. Chapter number 1, that is what rational numbers. Okay, now before we start in the uh, with the actual rational number, let me uh, go through the previous knowledge which you have learned in the early classes. So everybody might be knowing what are the natural numbers. So natural numbers are what? So the number which is starting from one, two, three, and so on, they are what the natural number. Now about the next is what the whole numbers. So what are the whole numbers? Whole numbers means it include what zero, one, two, three, and so on. Okay. Then the next term is what the integers. Integers. Integers are what? It includes what zero. It will include all positive numbers as well as it include the negative numbers. Okay, so you are clear. This you have already learned in the lower classes. Okay, now moving with the actual definition of the rational numbers. Okay, so the numbers, the numbers which are, which are in the form which are in the form p by q which are in the form of what p by q where q cannot be what equal to 0 and thus p and q these are what integers these are what integers okay so these are what rational number for example for example if i say simply 1 by 2 so it's a rational number if i say what zero zero is also a rational number why because i can write this zero as zero by one i can write what zero by five i can write it as what zero by seven any number so take it denominator as what not zero and if you divide everything as what equal to what zero so this is one of the rational number so zero is a rational number even i can take what minus two by seven even i can take two by minus seven even I can take 2 minus 2 by minus 7. These all are the example of the rational numbers. Hope you have understood what is exactly the meaning of the rational number. So simply you have to focus on a number which is in the form of what? This. Okay. This is important. Okay. Where P and Q are what? Integers. P and Q are what? Integers. Hope so you have understood this particularly. Okay. Okay, now let's move to the properties of the properties of the rational numbers. Check in properties of rational numbers. Okay, the first property but um, uh, the first property about which we are going to talk is the closer property is the closer property now i will see it with respect to first with respect to what addition ye pehle mein hum kiske respect mein dekhenge pehle dekhenge hum addition ke liye theek hai next we'll see it for the subtraction next we we'll see it for the subtraction okay next we we'll see it for the multiplication And at the end, we'll see it for the division. Okay. Now try to understand. Now what does mean the closer property? If I say any 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 two rational numbers, suppose A and B, 
दीज आर वॉट रैशनल नंबर्स दीज आर वॉट सपोज टू रैशनल नंबर्स ठीक है नाउ वॉट यू कैन से अबाउट ए प्लस बी वेदर इट इज अ रैशनल और नॉट वी सी इट विद द हेल्प ऑफ द एग्जाम्पल ठीक है सपोज इफ आई से दी वन ऑफ माई नंबर ए इज वॉट सपोज इफ आई टेक वन बाई टू एंड बी इज वॉट वन बाई थ्री देन वॉट विल बी ए प्लस बी इट्स अ वन बाय टू प्लस वन बाय थ्री इफ यू टेक द एल्सियम एवरीबडी नो हाउ टू टेक द एल्सियम टू एट थ्री का एल्सियम कितना आ जाएगा इट विल बी वॉट सिक्स देन टू मेक दम इक्वेलेंट दिस विल वॉट मल्टीप्लाइड बाई थ्री सो थ्री इंटू वन इज थ्री देन इट विल बी वॉट मल्टीप्लाई बाई टू सो फाइनली दिस विल बी कम वॉट फाइव बाय सिक्स नाउ फाइव बाई थ्री फाइव बाई सिक्स इज अगेन अ रैशनल नंबर सो वॉट दिस एम्प्लाइज येस इट इज अ रैशनल नंबर सो वॉट दिस एम्प्लाइज की रैशनल नंबर्स आर वॉट क्लोज अंडर एडिशन ओके नाउ लेट्स डू इट फॉर दी सब्ट्रैक्शन अगेन आई एम टेकिंग द सेम नंबर इफ आई एम टेकिंग ए इज इक्वल टू वॉट वन बाई टू एंड बी इज इक्वल टू वॉट वन बाई थ्री ओके देन ए प्लस ए माइनस बी ए माइनस बी विल बी इक्वल टू वन बाई टू माइनस वन बाई थ्री सो इट एल सेम इज वॉट सिक्स सो इट बिकम्स वॉट थ्री माइनस टू विच इज कम आउट टू बी वॉट वन बाय सिक्स अगेन दिस इज अबाउट ए रैशनल नंबर सो वॉट दिस मीन्स की रैशनल नंबर आर वॉट क्लोज अंडर सब्ट्रैक्शन ऑफ सो इट्स वेरी क्लियर टू यू ओके नाउ लेट्स मूव फॉर द मोटिवेशन सेम एग्जाम्पल आई एम टेकिंग सो इफ आई टेक ए इज इक्वल टू वन बाई टू बी इज इक्वल टू वॉट वन बाई थ्री सो वॉट यू कैन से अबाउट ए इन टू बी सो ए इन टू बी विल बी वॉट वन बाई टू इन टू वन बाई थ्री विच इज कम्स आउट टू बी वॉट वन बाय सिक्स सो दिस इज अगेन ए रैशनल नंबर सो रैशनल नंबर आर वॉट क्लोज अंडर मल्टीवेशन ऑल्सो नाउ वॉट अबाउट द डिविजन नाउ ह्योर देर इज अ वॉट वन प्रॉब्लम इफ आई टेक ए एज वॉट a as what 1 by 2 and b as what 1 by 3 then a divided by b is nothing but what 1 by 2 divided by 1 by 3 when i simplify this will comes out to be what 1 by 2 ye sign agar multiplication karenge to this becomes what 3 by 1 so it comes out to be what 3 by 2 so it is again a rational number but is it true for each and every rational number the thing is what no why it is so because If I take a as what one by two, no issue. If I take b is equal to zero, then a divided by b this implies what one by two divided by what zero, which is not defined because your denominator is what coming out to be what denominator is what coming out to be what zero. When I am having what denominator as what zero for any number, so that is what not defined. So it means. कि रैशनल नंबर आर व्हाट क्लोज अंडर एडिशन सब्ट्रैक्शन एंड मल्टीप्लिकेशन इट इज क्लोज अंडर डिवीजन बट ओनली फॉर नॉन जीरो रैशनल नंबर्स इफ यू टेक द डिनोमिनेटर एज व्हाट जीरो व्हिच इज आल्सो रैशनल नंबर देन इट इज नॉट ट्रू ओके सो होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड सो व्हाट वी कंक्लूड फ्रॉम हियर व्हाट इज योर कंक्लूजन फ्रॉम हियर what is conclusion that rational numbers rational numbers are closed under addition closed under addition subtraction and multiplication Okay, this is the first which we have concluded. Now, next is what? Because whenever we take in what zero and the denominator that was not closed, so what we write? Key non-zero rational numbers. It's a what? Non-zero rational numbers are closed under. डिवीजन डिवीजन के लिए नॉन जीरो रैशनल नंबर सी हमारे सिर्फ क्या होंगे दे आर वॉट क्लोज अंडर डिवीजन ओके होप सो यू हैव अंडरस्टूड दिस प्रॉपर्टी 
now let's talk about the next property which we called as the commutative property the second property i'm talking that is what the commutative property what is a commutative property so we are again going to discuss it among the पहले हम किसके लिए करेंगे एडिशन के लिए वी डू इट फॉर एडिशन देन विल टॉक अबाउट व्हाट द सेकंड फॉर द सब्ट्रैक्शन देन वी फॉर द मल्टीप्लिकेशन एंड द डिवीजन नेक्स्ट ओके सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द कॉमेटेटिव प्रॉपर्टी विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एडिशन मींस व्हाट वी नीड टू चेक इन दिस पर्टिकुलर इन दिस पर्टिकुलर इफ आई टेक ए इज अ रैशनल नंबर बी इज अगेन अ रैशनल नंबर इफ यू फाउंड दैट ए प्लस बी इज सेम एज़ व्हाट बी प्लस ए देन वी से दे आर व्हाट कॉमेटेटिव ओके so rational numbers are commutative under addition so let me check okay with the help of what example if i say a is equal to what again i'm taking the same example and b as what 1 by 3 okay so now what we will do i will find out the value of what a plus b let me consider this is what left hand side so consider left hand side so this will come out to be what 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 which is coming out to be what it's a lcm is what 6 this will be what 3 3 plus 2 so this is coming out to be what 5 by 6 now let's talk about the right hand side so right hand side is what b plus a okay your right hand side is what b plus a so let me check it's what 1 by 3 plus 1 by 2 so it comes out to be what lcm is what 6 now this will be what 2 plus 3 so it is again coming out to be what 5 by 6 so both the desert are what the same ye digits dono bhi jo kar rahe hain jo digits bol rahe hain it's a fraction or rational number 5 by 6 and 5 by 6 so left hand side and right hand side are equal so left hand side are equal to what right hand side so what this implies this implies a plus b is equal to what b plus a okay so what i can comment from here ki rational numbers rational numbers are commutative commutative with respect to what with respect to addition with respect to addition they are what commutative similarly let me check it for the subtraction now for the subtraction what we need to do so we have to check whether a minus b is same as what b minus a this is we need to check it out okay so we'll check with the help of the example same example i'm considering so that you can go through for the calculation very fast okay so if i take a is equal to 1 by 2 b is equal to what 1 by 3 so if i consider the left hand side so left hand side will be what 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 so this will come out to be what the same will be what 6 this will be what 3 minus 2 so it is coming out what 1 by 6 now talk about the right hand side so right hand side will be what b minus a so it's a b minus a so simply it will be what 1 by 3 minus 1 by 2 lcm is what 6 this will be what 2 minus 3 which is coming out to be what minus 1 by 6 here you're getting what 1 by 6 here you're getting what minus 1 by 6 so both are not equal so what i can say from here the left hand side is not equal to what right hand side so this implies ki a minus b is not same as what b minus a so what this implies so what do i conclude from here ki rational numbers rational numbers are not commutative they are what not commutative with respect to with respect to what and subtraction with respect to subtraction they are not committed okay hope so you have understood this now let's talk about the third for the third property third with respect third operation that we take it as what the multiplication now what have been if i take what a into b whether it is same as what b into a we need to check it out okay so we see whether it is true or not Taking this example, let me take a is equal to 1 by 2, b is equal to what? 1 by 3. So, what will be a into b? This is what your left hand side. 
So A into B will be what? 1 by 2 into 1 by 3, which is coming out to be what? 1 by 6. Now, if you take the right hand side, what is the right hand side? Right hand side is what? B into A. What will this? It will be what? 1 by 3 into 1 by 2, which is coming out to be what? 1 by 6 again. So, what this implies? They are what? It's a commutative with respect to motivation. So, I am writing simply, it's a what? For any rational number, A into B is always equal to what? B into A. So, they are what? Commutative under the sub, under the motivation. Okay. Now, let's talk about the fourth one. That is what? Your division. So, for division, what do we need to check? Whether we have to check this A divided by B is same as what? B divided by A. This is what you need to check. So, if I check it with the given example, so if I take the left hand side, so it is what A divided by B, so it is should be what 1 by 2 divided by, divided by what 1 by 3. So this will be what 1 by 2 division will become what multiplication, so it will interchange, okay. So this is coming out to be what 3 by 2. Now if you take the right hand side, right hand side, then it is what B divided by A. So it will be what 1 by 3 divided by 1 by 2. So this come out to be what 1 by 3. Again change the sign division to multiplication. So this will interchange. Numerator becomes what denominator. Denominator becomes numerator. So it's a 2 by 1. So it will be what 2 by 3. So both are what not same. So left hand side is not equal to what right hand side. So from here what I can say. From here I can say a divided by b is not equal to b divided by a so not commutative not commutative with respect to division okay hope you understood this property also okay now let's talk about the next property the third property that is what the associative associative property Okay. Again, we check it for the all four operations, whether it is what associative or not. Okay. So let's start with the first. That is what the with respect to addition. So pehle baat karte hain with respect to what addition. Now, what is this associative property? So if you are having what three numbers, A, B, and C. These are what three rational numbers. So if I take a plus b then plus c now i'm just changing the position of my bracket if we found that this particular things are what satisfy then we say ki our rational numbers are what associative with respect to what addition okay so we can go with this example i can take a as what 1 by 2, B as what? 1 by 3 and C as 1 by 4. Let me do it. Okay. So, let me go with the left hand side. So, what is the left hand side? I am writing the left hand side. Left hand side says A plus B plus what? C. So, now substitute the value of what? The given. A is given as what? 1 by 2. B is given as what? 1 by 3 and C is given as what? 1 by 4. So, what will be this? If you simplify, this will be what? Else will be what? 6. This will be what? 3 plus 2 plus 1 by 4. So, this is what? 5 by 6 plus 1 by 4. Now, take the LCM of 6 and 4. What is the LCM of 6 and 4? Yes. LCM will be what? 12. Okay. So now 6 to 12, so 2 into 5 is what? 10 plus 4 3 is 12, 12 3 is so 3 into 1 is what? 3. So it is coming out to be what? 13 by 12. Okay, now let me move with the right hand side. So right hand side is nothing but what? A plus in bracket B plus C. So now we will substitute the values. It's a 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 
plus 1 by 4 close bracket will be solved so underline it so that means you are doing the operation on the underlying thing so 3 and 4 LCM is what 12 so it will be what 4 plus 3 okay so this will be what 1 by 2 plus it will be what 7 by 12 now what is the LCM of 12 and 2 it is what 12 so it will come out to be what 6 plus 7 which is nothing but what 13 by 12 so what we found from here we found what both numbers and you know, both side left hand side so left hand side is same as what right hand side so what I can say I can say a plus b plus c is same as what a plus b plus c so what this implies key rational numbers rational numbers are what associative are associative with respect to addition addition ke respect mein wo associative hota hai now for the second operation that is what the subtraction subtraction how are we going to check whether a minus b minus c is same as what a minus b minus c okay because the subtraction was not committed till so obviously this will not going to hold okay so i'm writing directly this will not going to hold okay so means rational numbers are not not associated with respect to what subtraction okay you can verify with the help of what the same values which is given in the previous property for the addition okay now similarly for the third if i take what the for multiplication means what do we need to check a into b into c is same as what b into a into in bracket b into c so this is again going this is going to hold okay so under motivation the rational numbers are small associative okay like what for the division they were not not commutative so there will be not not associative also okay so a divided by b divided by what c cannot be equal to what a divided by what in bracket b divided by what c so what this implies ki rational numbers rational numbers are associative they are what associative they are what associative okay with respect to kis kis ke respect honge with respect to what addition and multiplication okay and not not associative not associative with respect to with respect to what subtraction and division okay hope so you are very clear with this property of the rational numbers okay next property which called we call it as what existence of additive identity additive identity element what does it means suppose if i take a is any rational number a is what any rational numbers now in a number a rational number which i should add with this a so that i can get what a again so what is that number and that number will be called as what the additive identity element so what will that that will be only zero okay so this zero is called the additive additive identity element okay so try to understand with the help of what example for example if i take a rational number as what 1 by 2 so what number what rational number i will add so that i will get again 1 by 2 so that will be what 0 okay another example you can try minus 2 by what 3 what should be what added 
so that you will get what again minus 2 by 3 so that will be what 0 okay this is the property number 4 that is what existence of what identity element for the rational numbers so what is the identity element for the rational numbers that is what the 0 okay now let's move to the fifth property that is what the additive inverse additive inverse now try to understand this. What is the meaning of this additive inverse? Suppose you have given a a as what any rational number. A is what any rational number. So to this number a, what should we add so that we get the identity element of the rational number? So additive identity element is what the zero. So what should we should we should add to this? So that should be what minus a. Okay so in this particular so this a this minus a is called additive inverse it's called what additive inverse of a now try to understand this with the help of the example okay now if i say find additive inverse additive inverse of let me write first number as what if I say minus 2 by 3 second if I say 3 by 4 third I can say minus 2 1 by 3 so what will be thus so how you're going to work it out okay simple very simple so additive inverse additive inverse of minus 2 by 3 2 by 3 so it's a simple by it's about the negative of whatever number so here a is what minus 2 by 3 so it's additive inverse will be what minus of minus 2 by 3 okay which after simplifying it's what 2 by 3 it's about 2 by 3 okay simple so this was the first one now second one the additive inverse of 3 by 4 so it will be what minus 3 by 4 so you need to understand only you have to change for the additive change the sign for finding the additive inverse if you are given 3 by 4 its additive inverse will be what minus 3 by 4 if you are given you are asked to find the additive inverse of minus 3 by 4 then it will be what plus 3 by 4 so you need to change only the sign that is what the symbol to understand to remember okay now let's move for the third one so the given number is what what is the given number is what it's a mixed fraction minus 2 by 3 so what I said you need to simply change the sign so it's a minus 2 1 by 3 so it will be what 2 1 by 3 only sign is what change that is what the additive inverse hope so you have understood this also let's move for the sixth property that is the multiplicative identity so simply if you are given a rational number a by what number you will multiply so that you will get again a so what is that number that will be called as the multiplicative identity so what number it should be there it should be what one because one is a rational number and if you multiply it by what any 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 rational number then you will get the same rational number so if you're multiplying a by one then you will get what a only now try to understand this with the help of what example if i say two by seven by what number you will multiply so that you will get again 2 by 7 so that number will be what again 1 another example we can take if I take what minus 2 by 14 2 by 15 so by what number you will multiply so that it will be what again minus 2 by 15 so that is only the 1 so this 1 is called the multiplicative identity element okay this 1 is what multiplicative identity element
okay hope so you have understood